In this video, I will show you how to use having keyword in queries. Let's see in an example. <coughs> this is a simple uh, TXQL statement. Uh, let's execute like this. As you can see, I have these currencies and this amount of records in customer table. Uh, I created this uh, range for uh, data area ID because there are lots of other companies and I want to show you a simple data. Uh, so if you if I want to filter this uh, counted uh, amount, I can write having count, for example, uh, greater than five. And if I uh, execute like this, I see only these two records. Of course, I can change like this, and if I execute, I see these ones. So, uh, so how can we do in uh, do this in our uh, uh, X++ queries? Uh, let's look at the example. First of all, we need to use query framework. We can't uh, we can't use in uh, normal select statements. We need to use uh, query framework. I created a simple query. Uh, this is for uh, cross company range. Range. It's similar to this one because I want to uh, filter data from three different uh, companies. And I edit my cast, cast table, uh, customer table data source and the selection field for count. Also, I have a group by, and this is the uh, key. I edit. A query. I am adding a, 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 a adding a having filter to this data source to this field and the, this uh, aggregate function. And my filter is uh, this one. It's also similar to my uh, my TSQL statement. Then it's standard uh, query run. I'm creating a new query run and. I am uh, running this one and then uh, showing the uh, information here. Uh, when I execute this one, this will happen. Uh, I, ha I have two uh, in info here. It's same with the SQL statement. Let's see this one. As you can see, okay. same result. Uh, Let's look at again. F uh, first, you need to have a, uh, of course, aggregate uh, function. Then you need to add, uh, add having filter statement to your query. Then you have the same uh, SQL statement uh, in in your query like this. Okay, I hope it's helping. Happy Duxing.